Would you come into a bar with that, with that thing that greets you? Look at that. That's what sniffed my crotch right when it walked in. I love it. Oh, yeah. Okay. Okay, my super duper deluxe app showing all the routes we took. Yeah, right. So we came all the way. We came up through here. We did all this stuff down here. All of this. Dante's view. We did all that. And then we came back. We came at 374. And we went to Beatty. Came up here and saw this real light ghost town and then we zipped on up to Tonopah which is way up here now we're going to backtrack down and go to uh, Goldfield and we're going to stay at that funky that funky RV park that we saw where you have to deposit 30 bucks in an envelope and slip it in a lock box no checks accepted and spend one more night and then head back to California and call it a trip done. RV road trip number 27. It's a Monday, February 1st. Tomorrow's Groundhog Day. It's a good day to go back. All right? Maybe we can repeat this day over and over and over again. Just to show you, we're at Aurelius. We need some vegetables in our system. We've been eating protein, protein, protein and some water. Other than that, here we go. Okay, back in Goldfield. Oh, I guess it is in So, oh, here's some cars over here. Not sure really what's in Goldfield. Just have a urge to spend the night here. It's supposed to be a really haunted hotel downtown. Everything's dilapidated. 200 people. Patty here met someone from Goldfield. What she Grocery said? shopping. Grocery shopping. Should we go to the RV lot first? Yes. This RV lot, we just kind of found, not this one. Right? It's 4th Street. 4th Street. Yeah, so that's Goldfield here. <laughs> This is the shortest move we've made while camping. 28 miles from one RV spot in Tonopah to this RV spot. Junk store. Oh wait, can we check in now? I don't know. We'll be back. Confused, lost, and disoriented. The perfect RV mentality. Especially when you don't know where you're going or what you're doing. Okay, we're back at this lovely RV park overlooking the town of Goldfield. We're just going to go down and explore the nearby area. And just see what we can find. This is our last night. We're going back. We're giving it up. It's been two solid weeks. One of our longer ones. Well, it is our longest one. And we have been... Uh, Spent three nights in RV parks and the rest just cold camping, dry camping, and boondocking. But a lot of that stuff is just abandoned. I think that's the hotel. The ghostly hotel. You go down there. And there's supposed to be one saloon still operating somewhere. And it goes around behind those trees too, so we'll be back. We're the lost RVers. <laughs> Dream big and drive hard. Look at that hair. Holy moly. It's cold, baby. Cold. Well, we'll start our exploration of Goldfield at the Goldfield Library, which just looks like it's closed, but this is open. The wind doesn't really just, just on display or some just antique, old fashioned. Rusty up. Mining cars, mining. Over here. Here's some cool things. So we're just gonna go through the town. We passed through here like three times so far. 
wanted to stop. We stopped there for a second, but we didn't go inside. It's just junk everywhere. I love junk. I like that. I always want to be staying somewhere where they have to have community environmental monitor monitoring programs for nuclear fallout. We're real close to the test sites of long ago. Look at that. Air, air particulate sampler. It's going to blow. Alright, just one last sweep. And we're off. There's the famous Goldfield Hotel. I guess two people leapt to their deaths in a suicide pack. Every asset. Their ghosts haunt this place. I hear dogs. The dogs are barking in there. Someone probably bought it and holed up in there. let this run see if we catch anything on it there's nothing open the jump shot is off sorry not open so we'll go downtown and check it out there's supposed to be one bar oh that may be it over there it says bar who knows this damn thing's open Field Hotel, the Ghost Hotel, Goldfield, Nevada, Santa Fe Saloon Hotel, right there. Let's see if that's open. Here's the Goldfield Chamber of Commerce, closed. Let's see what it has to say. Discover. Again. Nevada Silver Trails and Discover Adventure off the beaten path. Tonopah Mining, look at all this stuff. Area, there it is, babe. Area 51, we were there. Front Valley, we were there. Amorosa, we were there. Rhyolite, we were there. Beating Museum, we drove by. Death Valley, we were definitely there. And here's the map. And here's all the things going on. Nothing's open in this town. No. All right. There's a general store that we thought was open. Where are we going to change a hundred dollar bill? It's for sale. There's the best place to buy stuff. It's closed. So, let's see ya. Lost RVers. Great day to drive hard. Well, for this old abandoned building, this was Goldfield High School, built in 1907. Pretty big for a small town. Massive. Goldfield High School. Three, two, one. Yeah, this is pretty much it. Yeah, they're trying to restore it for some reason. Alright, see you guys. Goldfield High School. Just another victim to this COVID. Masks are required, but it's closed. Oh, it's only closed today and tomorrow. I guess it's open during the week, but it is for sale. Us over there. Well, this is just a little roadside. It's called Auto Art. How unusual is this, huh? The fame, the fame. Of course, yes, a darn picture. They, do, they just do stuff on these cars and call it art. There's a boat on top of a car. This thing looks like something out of the future. It 
little hand right there on the ground. Well. How unusual. This is our in-depth tour of Goldfield. The ghost town that isn't quite yet a ghost, but it's on life support for sure. They're gonna have to come up with some new, what they have to do is revamp the street here and turn it into a tourist trap. Look at this. Goldfield art cars. Let's see. Very interesting. Very unusual. Very bizarre. We haven't found anything open yet. Anything open yet. So they got so much crap outside. It's like cool. I love it personally. My kind of town. I live here. But I'd stay open, sell coffee, and put up porta potties. And say, come on in. Every square inch of everything is just filled with garbage. Beautiful, beautiful stuff. Rocks. We got rocks, baby. Oh my gosh, is this Chelsea's chair? This mask stuff has just gone too far. Let's walk around by yourself with a mask on. Here's a giraffe. What's down here? There's more stuff. Look at that. All right. Well, there's the back top side of that haunted hotel. And it says Santa Fe Saloon and Motel down there, half mile. We're going to go down there. I didn't see anything walking around there, but we'll go look. Be back. Here's another little store closed. Handmade jewelry. Everything's just left out. Pottery, rocks, antiques, flag. Just walking through. Death Valley symbol. Come around. Nothing's open. Biker wrenching staples. Oh, there's magnets. Oh, is there? We're looking for magnets, but nothing's open. I mean, shoot, they're missing out on six dollars worth of sales here. All right. Well, weird. It's uh, it's really weird. Not a soul, not a car. Very few cars. Haven't seen a person yet. Yeah, we'll go look some more. But you never know when a ghost is gonna make an appearance, right? One, two, so they jumped off that floor to their death. And haunted it be. Their roaming bodies, lovers torn in anguish, leapt to their death from the third floor. grand entryway of the once men magnificent and majestic Goldfield Hotel now just standing idle idle haunted withering with snow and wind one day just to be a, a remnant something to explore from the history books the Goldfield Hotel. There she is, the F-150 in front of the Goldfield Haunted Hotel. Well, there's nothing. Bar and food. Liner shack's closed. Everything is closed. 
Oh, there's the person. First person we see. Where? Right there in that trailer oh. house thing. Whatever you want to call it. Yeah. He's still in his robe and pajamas. Yeah, we got a picture of him in his room. Kind of reminds me of the outskirts of Virginia City. I'm just going to drive around here. We saw a flag flying open something, so we're going to go see what it is. That building over there was a bank. It was closed. Home of the Eagles. That's a school right there. That's the real school. Home of the Eagles. And they're going to school right across the street from just this broken down building. That must be cool to live here. Of course, if you live here, you hate it, right? It's so good. It's <laughs> well, a junkyard. You know how I love it. It's just, it is a junkyard, the whole town. Instead of Goldfield, it should be called Junkyard City, USA. Hold on. Oh, sorry for bouncing you around. All part of the production value. See ya. We found something that's open. Dink, Dinky Diner. Welcome travelers, trusts, buses, and RVs parking around back. Wow. We haven't eaten anything today, have we? Oh, I had an pie. We'll be back. Well, this is just a road going down into whatever. More stuff. Okay, this is the car forest. The visitors, heiress, and you saw the flag, so God bless America. We ain't really sure what we're looking for. Be truthful. Crystal Avenue RV Park. Oh, there's another RV park. Wow, we found a good one. Uh -oh. Caution Hill, keep to the right. Here and make a right. There's, oh, look at that. Right there. No one's there. Crystal RV lot. There's three spots. I Shit. guess people just. <laughs> you just take your lamb and do that. Yeah. What a junkyard. I mean, everywhere this is a look. Bob and Don excursion. Yes. Bob and Don would love it. I, there they are up there. <gasps> ah! uh, there's <laughs> buses up to end it. So. Goldfield car, whatever. We drive on out here. Okay, make a right. Yeah, we're going. Make a right, and this is it. We're. Oh wait, just keep going. We're gonna go to the left. It looks like a bubbling pool right there. It's just melting. Look at that. See it? Oh, it's Large. bubbling. The air is blowing. Be careful, babe. It might be international car for us on the last church. Okay, make a left. Respect the art, respect the artist. Oh Which my way, God. up and around? Uh, yeah, Up. left, right there, left. Mm. Oh yeah, we'll just run this one out. Well, I'll come back. Well, this is uh, interesting stuff. We'll go down into the middle of it all. Wait, wait, stop. I'll open this up a little bit for you. Alright. It's weird, you can drive around. I guess these are uh, artists, artistes of the Great West. Come into the garden. We'll get out down here. Oh, how wonderful is this, huh? <laughs> and if drop uh, Papa Drew happens to see this, my wife found you a schoolie, so we'll show it to you in a second. A little bit of work, not much, but 
You'll see. Car forest. Oh, just someone gets, has to come down here right in a second, right? Always. But look at that, Papa Drew. There's your schoolie, buddy. All there, waiting for you to restore it to his illustrious prime. Driving on through. We're gonna walk and look at it. Oh god, alright, never mind. This seems to be the heart of Car Forest. The artwork, the remnants of people with apparently way too much time on their hands. Put your graffiti here our truck right down in the middle of it all. There's your schoolie Papa Drew right up there waiting to be refurbished. Oh there's a Christmas tree lights. Hello! We're thug life. We're spending we're spending the night in this town. Go out to the cemetery because there's a cross street from the cemetery is a uh, old old from the 1800s dump site where a guy told us that you're using the metal detector to find coins, watches, stuff like that. So we're going to go out there for a while and we'll be back. Lost RV is bringing you some weird stuff. that true art right there this is bird's eye view just unusual just more art goldfield style art just unique that's a four-door limo up there. Who is this critter? This thing is habited by someone. Who would be here? Huh? Who would be here in this beautiful oh, domain? On the short faster? Oh, let's see there. Okay, on the other side. No doubt. Way too much video on this stuff, right? can't hear any of it. Let's see. All right. We're driving the yellow bus. We're short bussers. Hey, this could be restored. That'd be a nice RV. Yeah. My lips are on the Just a little bit of restoration. My smile's the trigger. My kisses are the bullets. Label me a killer. Uh-oh. Okay, we'll take a little, we'll take a little drive around and through. I guess you can just come out here, bring your car, and have it buried halfway, and do your thing. I wonder if they charge you. I doubt it. There's another schoolie off on the left. Oh man, oh, oh. this is a dead end. Uh, uh, There's a schoolie uh, right uh, up there. Uh, there you go, Pop Drew. Not all who wander are lost. Oh, wow. Oh. Hey, I like that. And look at this schoolie over here. This is just tipped up. Right? Do you want to go up there? Oh. Wow, what look at that it? one. Look at that. Here's another one, Pop Drew. It's waiting to be restored. It can be done. It can be done. That was a dead end. And this is the heart. What's it called now? The Ca Goldfield Car Forest. Goldfield Car Forest. In Goldfield, Nevada. A pre-ghost town. 
because one day it will be so. Okay, we're going to attempt to go up That's Boondock. Nice. Not Boondock. Oh, fudge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. uh -oh. Are we getting stuck? Ah! Four-wheel drive got us out of that one, folks. Oh. Holy moly. We had to come up here, though. We had to come up here just to say we did it. Wait, stop. I gotta get a picture. Oh, we'll do have to do a selfie here. Oh. Magnificent piece of artwork. Oh. All right, we'll be right back. We got one. This is kind of being supported by this, this timber here. It's kind of supporting the weight of it all. Here, I'll splat. In front of some building we seem to miss. Just junk everywhere, folks. I love it. It's every man's dream. Oh look at the is that a UFO? It's called, called Main Street. Oh here it goes. Main Street. Whatever it is. This is just too cool for words. I won't pull over and let this car go by. Oh, Open and Where save. was that junkyard? Did we, did we already miss it? No. Uh, the, Is this open? The cemetery's up there. I'll go see. This is the visitor center. Mm. Wow. Well, all right. We're going to go down to the very front of this cemetery. These are all wooden crosses. Must have been a boot hill. It looks like a boot hill, right? Let's check out. I'd say the earliest ones are the first ones, right? Sacred Heart Cemetery. Right, right over here. Okay, let's go visit some of these folks. <laughs> Wait, these things are marked by rocks, just rocks on the ground. Look at that. Look at their headstones back during the day. Let's go see some of the dates. Wait, stop here. This is Effie Walker, piano player, died at age 50. Born in Australia. V. L. Klein, Goldfield businessman, died from gunshot wound at Nevada Goldfield Reduction Company. Unknown. Unknown. Unknown over there. Unknown over there. 1908, stillborn, poor baby. Infant, 1908. Oh, here's a spooky one. This one's caved in. Mike, oh no, age 31, 1907. Gunshot wounds, minor, native of Australia. Second Australian here. Shot while standing in doorway of his cabin. Look at that. And it's careening in on itself. See if hand reach out at any moment, right? Pneumonia. Unknown grave. Hey, buddy. Yeah. Unknown. Rip. Look at that. Huh? Is that something out of a Western theme? Unknown. Died of old age, finally. Born in Indiana, died in 1907. Age 100. There you be, Ray. Congratulations, nice long life. 1907, 1907. Hello, Roy. Jeremy, three years old, oh, poor kid. Yeah, it must have been tough back then. H2, Ch Cherry Bell, 1907, H2. Look at this one. Someone's trying to grave rob it. Second Lieutenant John Steltmitz, 12th and 30, 13th Regiments, Maryland Infantry Union, age 62, born Maryland, died September 30th in Goldfield, 
doesn't say what he died of. But since we're here, hello, John. And I'll salute you in my shadow. God bless America. That's a little taste of Goldfield Cemetery and the people that lived here. It was a hard life. It was a mean life. It was a gold miner's life. It was a sickly life. Diphtheria and pneumonia. Stillbirths. Children lasting no more than three, four, five years buried here amongst the people up here on the hillside right outside Goldfield, Nevada. Soon to be ghost town. It's a place to come to. That little RV place is pretty cool and uh, we're spending the night here. See you in a bit. The grave site that grew a cactus tree. Look at that. Reincarnated as a cactus tree. Watch out, baby. It could reach out and grab you. It's one of those alive trees. Oh, I got a shot in this here, too, by the way. Thomas. Hi, Thomas. How you doing? All right. See ya. Mariko Abazetsi. Age one year, one year, nine months, 14 days. Died in 1908 from cholera. And none of these guys, rest of their souls, have markers unknown. Who knows what they could have died from or in or who they were. Just buried. All of these unmarked, just with crosses. Yeah, you come to cemeteries like this, and it's just, yeah, some people say it's ghoulish, but you know what? If I was out here, look at these. No one has a marker. There's one down here. If I was out here buried, I wouldn't mind someone coming along and just putting me on YouTube, making me famous. They know who they are. They're watching YouTube up there. They're saying, hey, there I am right there. Wow, just all these are marked. Who were these souls? Like this guy. Died. Goldfield, November 6th, 1906. I can't remember the name, but yeah. All right. Wow, this is like uh, just like something out of the old west. Chili, 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 cholera. Diphtheria, pneumonia, stillbirths, four, five, six year old kids. People died of gunshot shot wounds. A lot of history in here, if it could only speak. speak. Four souls unknown, yet buried here all these years. Here's a forgotten and early grave of who knows who. It's round. It's protected by chicken wire, teeth posts, and a piece of rope. Look at that. Like a here. The lost RVers, our last attempt before we go back to California tomorrow. Or captured something. Gonna try to find a spook at the Goldfield Hotel, which is uh, what was her name? Elizabeth. Elizabeth. And she was in room 109. Room 109. And apparently she was pregnant. They tied her up, and then when she delivered the baby, they threw her baby down a mine shaft. Or threw something. the baby down the. But mine this is supposed to be haunted. Oh, there's lights on inside. Ooh. Okay, so we're just gonna in go. In the of the night. Don't get me a copyright uh -oh. infringement. Uh oh, here it is. Ooh. Uh oh. oh. There it is. Look this is it. the haunted the Goldfield Hotel. So we're just going to take a second. Do you see Elizabeth in any of the windows? I don't know if it, there's lights on. Are so you we'll get out. out. Oh. 
it just kind of just point up into the <gasps> see point do you up. see we any have a, orbs we or have anything. a flashlight yeah in my pocket wait we'll point yeah. out up into the windows and just see what we can catch what we'll right if there's there. somebody inside okay we're abandoning our stake out and here's the here's the hotel right there This must have been something else back during the day. All right. I think the bar is open. I'm going to go over here real quick. This may be the only operating tavern in the whole town right here. It's open, baby. It sure is. Oh yes, we're going in. Let's go have a beer. Huh? Wine. Oh, well. Wine? In a wine. town like this? I had a glass of wine. When? I have wine at the, I bought. <sighs> Wow, it's open. Okay, folks. The only establishment in the town that's open. We're going in just for a glass of wine, food for the people in Gold's Goldfield. Well, going in and ordering wine in this desert bar seemed to vex everybody. They didn't know what to do. They brought out a they brought out a box of wine. They had one kind. So we we, we took it. This is really odd. Apparently there's another hole in the wall right around the corner we'll go to too. Something about uh Wyatt Earp. And some stories over there. Yeah. This is what you do when you're in a town of 200. There's my wife. Chatting up the front already. Alright. Uh, H&H bar, I guess it's called. That's all I see. See ya. The lost RV is doing the nighttime circuit. Looking for stories. Really? They're keeping up their image here, huh? Cool table back there. And here's a picture of gold feel in this heyday. Is this when it was a thriving town? Sure looks like it, huh? What a difference a century makes. Two long-term residents of Goldfield. We got this one's from England. She's been here forever. So there's one more bar in town. My wife's complaining, saying, "Oh, you just want to get drunk." I said, "No, you got to film the two only bars in Goldfield. What a score! What a video score, right?" All right. This is like the old west where they just give you a bottle and a shot glass and they give her a whole whole bottle of scotch and just pour your own at the bar and put it on the tab i like this place i like this place this is video magic folks video magic fifth street okay we left we left mozart bar Interesting stories, murder, rape, druggings, shootings, 
Just this is all just abandoned right stuff. To Gold Street. Now we're going to the second bar of this oh, town yes. before we go yeah. out to the cemetery. What's this one? Wait a second, I'm lost. What street is that? I have no idea. There's no street sign. It's seen left. Right here? In 50 yards? That's the next one up. Mm -hmm. So a town of 200. No, 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 no. We we're supposed to turn there. Okay. Where are we supposed turn, to? This is Euclid. And turn left. Turn left. We were lost I mean, we were out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Turn left. You got your seat. No, I don't. This okay, is now we make a left on Hall Street. Look at this, folks. Right here. Left here, left here. Left here. This is definitely a strange, strange town. We make a right on 5th Street at the stop sign. Here? Uh -huh. This is it, yeah. Is it? Where? Did you put your on? Oh yeah, down some dirt road. Looking for a bar that may or may it's not the be end open. Of the road here. Is that it up front? Santa Fe Saloon and Motel. We may not be the sharpest videographers on the planet, but we try hard. We go the distance. Oh, it looks like it's open. Oh, this should be good. We're going to have to break that hundred. Again, we're down to hundreds and a ten dollar bill. And I don't... Oh, man. Oh, baby. Did you give him all the twenty? No. Oh, okay. Two glasses of wine, eight bucks. There's a bar down here. Come on, man. We're out of Junksville. It's going to be on your left. No. Why didn't you have your seatbelt on? Because I thought it was just right around the corner. Oh, it is open. Look at this. Way out in the middle of nowhere. There it is. Oh yeah, we're going in there, saloon. Who in the right mind would bring their wife out here? I would. She loves it. Oh yeah, baby. We're out in the middle of nowhere. and This little place is definitely for the locals only. Let's go, baby. I got $10. How many ones you got? Oh, here we go. Who else but the lost RVers would take take a video of a bathroom? But you know what? You just got to. Oh hell yeah! This is just epic. This is just too good. Look at this. The original picture of a 20 mule team. Oh, this is a stagecoach. This is just chock full of history. Yeah, this is where Babyface Nelson was last seen before he got caught. Right in this, he's hiding out in the desert. Too cool for school. Look at that big old dog, man. Big old black. Black. Adobe. Alright, I'm gonna suck down this beer. We're going to the cemetery. I don't know what these are. Cards. Oh, I've been around here for decades. Decades. And of course, one of our bandits. Can't go wrong there, right? 
Baby, it's cold outside. 24 degrees. 24 degrees. Ooh. Be ready for the cemetery, folks. No, not the judge said no. No, that is the reflection of a ghost in the air. The say no. That is the last to reveal the male side of it. Trying to be a do I fit into this place? Yeah, it may be funny. Do I fit into this place? Or what? There are Mrs. Mrs. Calvary Cave right there. We're having a ball. All right. Yeah, but they still have to pay more for them to sell it for. Yeah. Let's see you guys later. Oh, well, we'll have to just watch. Okay, we'll end here before we go to the cemetery. This figure of Wyatt Earp was made for the gambling display of the famous Goldfield Hotel, Nevada, obtained from there in 1919. <laughs> So that was the famous Wyatt Earp. And who knows what this guy is, Sitting Bull, maybe. Now, this is the real deal, folks. This is the real, real, real deal. The real deal. And here's the town in the heyday. Yeah, whatever her dad was doing was a good plan. All right, we got Marines here. All right, we're out. I'll see you guys. Cemetery. We're going in. We're going in, baby. Now go to the flagstaff. Right here, right here, right here. Well, you're going kind of fast. Holy moly. Babe, I'm going 10 miles an hour. Oh, yeah. 10 miles an hour, that's right. Okay, here we go. Going into the cemetery, pitch black. It's supposed to be a haunted cemetery. We have to do it. We'll be back. Winding our way down another dirt road in the middle of the night, going to a cemetery in Goldfield, Nevada. It's supposed to be haunted. Let's go look at it either way. But I feel very at home here, so if any spooks are out there, they'll welcome me with open arms, no doubt. And here we are. And we go go up Way around the flagpole and come back so we're parked the right direction so we can escape. Which way? Go up and turn around the flagpole. Look flag at the tree. Pole. Look at the tree. Look at the tree. Here we it's are, folks. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Only I could perform this trip. And I have to give kudos oh. to my wife. She's a brave trooper oh. for doing this with me. Who else? Who <laughs> else? Who else, would, who else would do that? Every wife's dream is to come to a cemetery in the middle of Nevada from a 1906 town. Oh, I wanted to come to Goldfield for a five-star hotel experience. You know, we could have gone to the French Riviera no. South. We could be tanning our naked bodies on the, in Spain on the beaches. But no, we come up here to where it's uh, 38 degrees. It's 8.50 at night, babe. We still have to cook. Oh yeah, this is too cool for a school. Now go around and kind of take us up to the orbs. Look at this. Rest. Look at this, folks. Joe Rose born born. Go on, go Does around, go, go, go. Elks Rest, this is Elks Club people. I was like point be pointed towards our exit instead of just pointing the wrong way. That's the town down there. Goldfield. The only places open are two bars. A little snow on the ground. A little snow on the ground. It's cold. It's cold as windy cold. and cold. Look at this, folks. <gasps> they closed the gate, babe. We light. Look. It's an alien buried there. It's oh, look at that. Blinky. Right over there. There's the green light. Oh. Right <laughs> there. Okay, let's pull up right behind this tree. No, I'm not getting out. I'm getting out. No, keep the lights not. on. Keep the lights on. No. Stop right. What are right. you keep going, do? keep going, keep going, keep going. Keep going, keep going. Secret right. Heart Cemetery. Right here. Stop. Stop. Are you kidding me? Stop. Are you kidding me? 
Are you kidding? I am not okay, joking. Okay. All right, I'm here. Can't really see anything. Graves, grave markers. This is supposed to be a a haunted, 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 haunted grave, grave site. Unknown burials. Most of these people died of consumption, disease, or bullets. Very few of them lasted their whole lives here. We're just walking down. Gotta do it. This is trippy. see if we see anything but it doesn't look like we're going to it's kind of windy probably having a hard time hearing me so on both sides of us just just gravestone marked by white crosses no names boot hill goldfield california 10 o'clock at night Drive, dream, dream big and drive hard. What more can I say? You got to do it. This is it. Huh? Who in the right mind would come here? I would. See ya. Well, we're back at the Mesa Ridge. 21 FB walk around bed. Here Is it we go. open? Yeah, it's open. Oh, Back from the two bars in town in Goldfield, Nevada. Population 200. Two bars are open tonight. What are these? The Goldfield Steaks. Gold Steel. No, Goldfield. Steaks. Gold Steaks. Broccoli. Yes. We're not doing potatoes. No potatoes. You said you didn't. Excuse me. And that's what we're having. But we did go to two bars in Goldfield tonight. Did you want some bread? No. And we did go to the cemetery and we did go to the haunted hotel. No apparitions. Everything is as it was. But this is our meal for tonight. We'll see you guys well, later. We haven't edited yet, so. That's right. <laughs>